Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the current Outside Views report on Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. And today it's about having a look at things. Major media websites have doppelgangers spreading fake articles with pro-Russian propaganda. German media reported on a dangerous find here. White letters on an orange background, a professional photo and the usual text structure. You wouldn't doubt at first glance that this is an online uh, article from the German magazine Spiegel. But upon closer inspection, it becomes clear the site and the article are not genuine. Instead of the original content, they spread pro-Russian fake news. Such doppelgangers from news portals such as Spiegel or Welt are circulating on the Internet at the moment. As early as summer 22, research by um, several media and public television uncovered more than 30 fake websites that were specifically spreading disinformation on social networks, but above all on Facebook. It's a long-term persistent campaign was set by Yulia Smirnova, an analyst at the Institute for Strategic Dialogue, which researches disinformation. The fake sites, also known as the doppelganger campaign, are still popping up. And the goal is large-scale disinformation. And this is the largest covert pro-Russian campaign of its kind to date. The strategy is comparable to that of spam messages. They are not perfect fakes, but should reach as many people as possible. And according to the analyst, the fake media websites have the same message over and over again. Anti-US narratives, criticism of the Green Party or discrediting of Ukraine. With claims hostile to the US, Russian propaganda in Germany is trying to sow doubts about transatlantic relations. The US is also blamed for the war in Ukraine. I even see it in my comments all the time. The propaganda targets the Greens because the party clearly condemns the Russian war of aggression, by the way. Because the war against Ukraine is continuing, Russia's need for propaganda continues. There's a center for monitoring analysis and strategy here in Germany, and they are looking at this as well. The institute examines radicalization tendencies and conspiracy theories on the Internet. And the double campaign is not limited to the German speaking area. A report by the French General Secretariat for Defense and Security from June 23 also lists France, Lithuania, Latvia, Great Britain, Ukraine, the USA, Israel and the United Arab Emirates as affected countries. The EU identified Russian actors as responsible for the digital information manipulation. At the end of July, it put five organizations linked to the Russian state and seven people on the sanctions list even. Of course, it would be ideal to have the websites removed or made inaccessible. It is important to prevent people from being reached and influenced by the campaign. And the ISD um, say that the registration of domains should be made more difficult. And all the researchers say that it is important to sensitize readers and strengthen their media skills. The ongoing doppelganger campaign should be clarified. In France, for example, the foreign ministry informed the entire public about this. Um, at least German media reported this here. And the Federal Ministry of the Interior said that there was no decrease in Russian disinformation and that it took the threat of foreign influence and manipulation very seriously. Russia continues to rely on a complex network of state or state-controlled actors, the ministry said. The authority has been concerned about the forgeries since the campaign was uncovered and uh, they were talking since August 22 that the reports show the extent of pro-Russian propaganda and disinformation in Germany. And these pursued the goal of undermining trust in politics, society and state institutions. And that is one of the reasons why I um, decided on this channel to skip all the, the topics that you as my viewers definitely liked in the past. But I think at the moment it is far more important to try to get balanced views out there based on facts and to fight this Russian propaganda models. And I see that a lot. And they are on all of my channels where I even vaguely um, refer to the war. There are Russian trolls popping up 
blaming the USA for starting the war and spreading all those false claims that Putin made why this war is started, although they call it the, the special operation, although it is a war. And so I'm, I have to apologize to those who are missing the other topics at the moment. And I know that some um, unsubscribe to the channel because of it. But sorry, I think this is more important. And so um, if you didn't like this, I'm sorry. Um, but I will go through with this for the time being because I think it's absolutely important to fight those pro-Russian fake news. And if you want to know more about the development of the war, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.